Hey there, this one is a personality test for evaluating your personal thinking style, right? It'll evaluate you on four different counts, mind and body. Doer or observer, are you more of an action-oriented person or are you more of an observation person? All are needed, by the way. So the observation people will be better in careers which are more relating to giving you observations. Doer is an action oriented, then there is the feeler, then there is the thinker, the mind and the heart. Okay, so description will follow now. Okay, the explanation of how this test works simple test of 12 points, and then later I'll describe how to use the Excel sheet in this video. Download links are in the description box. You can download the Excel sheet, learn how to use it, share it with your friends, leave your comments. Da -da -da. Hi everyone, in this one we shall be learning about the personal learning style that each one of us has. Even as young students we can remember we, uh, we used to learn one way and maybe our friend used to learn quite another style. We have unique styles of learning. So we'll find out more about that, what it means, how we can use it, exploit it and become more sharper in our talents in our minds in the way we work in the way we approach to learn things learning style is important to understand so personal learning style what does the report tell you my well, personal learning style is exactly what it is what is your way you learn things and with the way you action things are you a doer are you a feeler are you an observer are you a thinker so basically there are four types we will so this is a sample report typical of the four types doer feeler thinker and observer so what's the doer the doer likes to be doing actively doing things he learns by hands-on learning that's why it's called personal learning style these kind of people children like to apply things to real life situations they learn through real life practice the feeler likes to be engaged with people they are people oriented they focus on feelings and emotions. The feeler learns best by role plays, by participating in group exercises, drama. The thinker relies on logic and reason, likes concepts, analyzes, loves reading books, websites, questioning, doing independent activities. The observer likes to watch and listen. They are best uh, educated by listening to videos, podcasts. Um, listening anything that is a listening mechanism videos on youtube different kind of social media engagement that we have these days so hey everyone welcome back we are now going to explore the personal learning style assessment excel sheet the links of which are down below in the description box you can download the excel sheet it's free what does personal learning style mean i mean this particular test is quite simple there are how many there are about 12 questions to answer that's it and what does it provide us the learning style is useful both for children for teachers to understand about their children whom they are teaching uh, parents to understand about their kids teenagers youngsters 25 35 year old it's best if you can explore your personal learning style why personal well let's see your questions first how do you actually learn things? Some people learn by doing, some people learn by speaking, some people learn by action, some people learn by feeling what it provides to others. They are more of feelers. So there are four categories as you can see in the pie chart here. We've taken a sample test for an individual and the pie, test, pie chart appears like this, right? One is the doer, one is the feeler, one is the thinker and one is an observer. So the doers learn by practice applying concepts and simulations the feeler learns by personal experience role plays and group exercises the observer learns by lectures discussion and problem solving and the thinker understands by reading questioning and independent activities okay that's the four classifications and the descriptions are here below in the excel sheet there's only one uh, tab here one excel worksheet in this workbook and let's see the questions here 
each question has a ranking. You got to rank from 1 to 4 on a score of 1 to 4. What applies to you? You can use 4, 4, 2 times. You can use 1 or you can use 2, which is ranking something which goes like 4 that is most like you, 3 that is 1 next to it, slightly lower than 4, 2 is very less like you and 1 is least like you. So from 1 to 4 is most like you to least like you. So you have to rank all the four. That's the criteria how you work this Excel worksheet. And the options, it's a multiple choice question. So you can go through each one. Let's take the first example. When solving a problem, I prefer to A. Take step by step approach. B. Take immediate action. C. Consider impact on others. And D. Make sure I have all the facts. Another question. In a group discussion, I, A, encourage others to offer their opinions, B, question others' opinions, C, readily offer my opinion, or D, listen to others before offering my opinion. So this is the way it goes. You can answer these. You can forget about this last section over here. This is not necessary for you to think. I've already plotted the whole thing on this pie chart. So this gives you a percentage of how much of each you are. Are you more of a, this person is obviously more of an observer. He learns more by observation in a lectures, in a classroom setting, or by group discussions, or by problem solving. That's the skill, that's how they learn. And also by doing something. The next predominant portion is the doer portion. They are learn by practice, applying concepts and simulations. It's best to take two of the four as a dominant part of your personality. <clears throat> the reason it's important to learn this personal learning style is you know how you learn and what particular approach you take as a teacher, as a professor to teach your students. Approach you take as a student of how you apply your learning skill. This is how you learn things. And this is a simple test, right? And make sure you watch these videos in HD in your YouTube. Otherwise, you can't see generally the text. YouTube kind of gives HD version. So you can use the HD version, high definition version to use and read this text. Download links are below. And in the next one, we shall see the subconscious patterns learning style, which is the neuro-linguistic program. Okay, take care, be safe.